What is up Gothamites? Welcome to a brand new Gotham Season 5 video and this week has been crazy so far. The DC TV shows are coming back. Not every single one is back yet but we've had you know like The Flash and most recently Titans but Gotham isn't back and it's not back for a while so I thought I'd sort you out with everything. Well the main things you might want to know you might not know all of these things I might miss something out to be honest. But what I'm about to read out to you guys from my little notes I've taken down from all the information well not all the information I'm sure I'm going to miss out some things um, of what you probably want to know going into Gotham Season 5. Now, uh, some of these may be spoilery to a degree for some of you, but in my mind, if the showrunners uh, are, are ready for you to know this information or, you know, divulge this to the audience and everything like that, then in my eyes, it's okay to know. Um, but if you don't want to go in knowing anything, then I don't recommend watching this video. But at the same time, it's not a big deal. Now, I don't want to overhype this, but I am seriously surprised with some of the stuff that I've written down here. Like, some of the stuff we've learned is is really, really kind of big. Uh, whether you're a freaking Oswald fan, like, seriously, uh, Riddler fan, want to know about the time jump, the bat suit, everything like that. This video is for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight into this video, guys. But if you want to stay more up to date with more stuff like this, uh, why not subscribe to the channel if you're brand new? And if you aren't brand new or if you are brand new, why not hit that like button to show your support uh, for more videos just like this? So there are probably some things you're familiar about and that I have spoken about already, like the 10-year time jump. There will be no ventriloquist but uh, they because they couldn't fit it in, but there will be little Easter eggy teasers throughout the season. Um, but... What's the next thing that we need to know and really talk about here? So the 10-year time jump, apparently, according to John Stevens, he teased that it would, quite literally, the actors will be kept the same. So David Mazous will be playing Batman. Uh, Cameron Bickendova will be playing Selena Kyle still. All of this information, by the way, brackets, closed brackets, is from, like, the, you know, press room where, like, loads of other people went in there and asked, you know, all the actors' questions, John Stevens' questions and stuff like that. And he did say, uh, that's the plan, yes, I actually, you know, even have, like, an aging machine, blah, blah, blah. He made a little joke there. But that is the plan. Now, some people are saying, like, oh, yeah, but Selena, sorry, uh, Cameron Bickendova talked about, uh, you know, another actress playing Catwoman or something like that. But the the question she was asked there is like, you know, since this will be a 10 year time jump and if another show came off from the universe that will be in, you know, 10 years later in that final episode, who would she like to be? Has she got an actress in mind for who could play her version of Gotham Selena Carl? She said yes, but she didn't want to say too much. Now everyone's kind of looking into this. But, you know, the showrunner did say the plan is to keep the actors you know, who have been playing these roles uh, as the same characters in a 10-year time jump, like a 28-year-old Bruce Wayne, but still Darby Mazous. Now, think of that how you will. You may be like, oh my god, how are they going to do this? Um, I do, I, I will stick to my guns on the fact that they will do this, because just out of loyalty for the cast, I do actually think, even though I am very apprehensive of it, that, you know, Darby Mazous should fill those boots don't know how the heck they're going to do it, whether it's badass makeup. CGI is, is like, seriously a lot of money, so I, I don't think that will be the root way of doing it. I did think, is there any cheap way of doing it? But that would look too bad. Uh, so maybe makeup or maybe a stunt double person out there. And maybe, well, obviously, Batman would be a massive stunt double kind of thing. And maybe David Mazous would just be uh, in turtleneck mode throughout most of the first episode until we get the suit moment and i've got something interesting about the bat suit in terms of when uh bruce actually even gets into the batman suit in that 10th episode which may disappoint some of you but i'll talk about that when we actually get onto the bat suit also it got said by a few people in that press room that the episode would be one hour long cannot confirm this they didn't say it would literally be one hour long but they referred to it as one hour long for that 10 year in the future 10th episode now this one is very interesting as you all know barbara has had so many arcs it even has felt at times they haven't really known where they've wanted to take her and i i, I don't think they would even mind me saying that because they would probably admit that that's true well what i'm about to say definitely says that they were thinking of turning barbara into magpie which is very interesting. And then John Stevens has admitted, like, we don't know why we were thinking this out as a terrible idea. Um, and he did acknowledge that she was also, for a brief period of time, they were thinking of turning her into Harley Quinn. Two of those people were saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you said she'd be Harley Quinn. Well, at the period of time in season four, it looks like they actually were when everyone, all the Gotham tubers like myself, were reporting on this. It was a thing. But, yeah, they, they just kept scrapping what they were going to do with Barbara. She's always been a blank canvas for Gotham. And as we know, Magpie is actually coming this season and i think she is being played for the by the stunt double who plays echo uh but yeah magpie's coming not barbara barbara is still someone else 
something else in this latest season. Now this is also one of the things that I've been asked about all the time throughout the few couple of years or so I've been covering Gotham. Uh, you know, where is Condiment King coming? Do you think Condiment King was coming? Stevens did say uh, that they have been pitching or he he's been pitching Condiment King for five years, but no luck unfortunately. So Condiment King will not be in this fifth and final season. To be honest, they've got so much to fit in anyway, but to all you Condiment King lovers, alas, he is down in the on the bottom shelf with uh, the ventriloquist, even though the ventriloquist is at least getting some teases, apparently. Now, when asked about the Batman suit, like, you, you know, the actual Batman suit, we are getting one, just in case you didn't know. Uh, John Stevens did describe it as that it will be more matte, like, you know, an actual matted kind of Batman suit, uh, and it will be similar to the Dark Knight Rises. He did then go on to describe it being metallic -y at the same time, more battle-y, uh, so matte and metallic -y. More battle being, like, quite different, obviously, from the Batman Begins one or like the Dark Knight one you know it was quite pimped out by that third one he did say like of course they are feeling the pressure of bringing in the suit and like he was like how much money are we going to spend on this thing because it has to look pretty great so they are going to try their goddamn best and he did mention the costume department being amazing and that's 100% something I agree with uh, the costume department and every kind of department on Gotham uh, visually have done an amazing job so I do have a lot of faith in this Batman suit the only thing guys is that he did make it sound like one episodes one to nine will be without like won't be with any suit obviously the 10 year time jump will feature the full batman suit um not necessarily all the episode long but you know if you're thinking of like proto we batman armor it does sound like it might just be bruce kind of looking a bit more like cool in his leather jacket and pants you know with a holster with his trank gun in it and stuff like that but he did say one to nine is mainly about no man's land and episode 10 is specifically for so somebody can come along and put on a hat with pointy ears but this is another thing that kind of made me feel a bit underwhelmed and it does sound very small villy uh to me um and i was hoping that this wouldn't happen i cannot confirm this concretely this is just well here we go. Uh, the very last scene of the show. I wrote that down because when interviewed about it quite quickly in terms of the bat suit, he did make it sound like the bat suit would feature in the very, very last scene of episode 10. Uh, and the whole of episode 10 would be kind of leading up to that moment. Now, I do not want you guys to go and impulsively say, oh, that this is happening. I will link the links down in the description to the interview so you can see the moment I'm saying for myself. Uh, so it might go along with the theory of what I was saying earlier. To everyone asking, including myself, how is David Mazuz, who's like 18 in real life, going to portray a 28-year-old henchass Bruce Wayne Batman in the actual Batman suit? Well... He might be in turtleneck mode throughout the episode and stuff like that. We'll be getting lots of other characters, don't forget, in that one hour episode. So, you know, we need to flesh out all those other things. So maybe, you know, the bat suit will be saved for more or less the last scene. And that is how they can spend maybe quite a bit of money on making Bruce look kind of quite cool uh, as an 18 year old in a 28 year old Bruce Wayne, you know, Batman in the Batman suit kind of actually makes sense when you think about it and that is what was definitely inferred in that interview but make of it what you will i'm sure we will maybe see some combat i hope we do that as i said can be easily pulled off with a stunt double and that can make you think oh yeah that's darby mazus is bruce wayne cool oh look you know but it's not really him but i don't know guys <laughs> maybe it might be a smallville Five second scene where we basically see it and then credits. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now in terms of Bane in the show and what you might want to know about him, he did say that they will be telling the story of how Bane came to be whilst keeping uh, the same kind of elements of his story, such as Penny Adura, Venom, which will definitely be involved in this season, supposedly. That's what he's saying. But he said he'll be using those Bane story elements in a way that they haven't used them before. But also at the same time, tying his story to Jim. So what... Essentially, he means there is, you know, uh, that Bane's origin will be different uh, because he would have served in the military with Jim. Jim went back to Gotham. Bane stayed, you know, Shane West's Bane stayed in the military. Now we're going to see him in this season, but they're going to keep the same elements like Penny Adura. So I'm guessing uh, in the military somehow, maybe he, he went into the prison in Penny Adura. They might change up it to be involved in his military storyline and stuff that he went through as he stayed in the military and Jim went off. They'll be keeping him 
like venoming up this season and stuff like that so yeah i'm definitely down with that and if you didn't know already uh in as we all know if you're a kind of comic book fan of bane and just a traditional uh quite a famous uh you know batman storyline is that bane breaks the bat in terms of like breaking his back and gotham are doing a little flip of that in terms of how uh alfred will have a little altercation with shane west spain and alfred will get his back broken so poor alfred i'm sure we'll make it through it i have no idea what truly is going to go on there uh but well this kind of leads to leads to the time jump thing which i'll talk about in a second but yeah i'm sure he'll be fine because there's going to be a few time jumps well i may as well talk about that now there will be three time jumps now what do you mean boba well essentially john stevens said it like this so there will be a time jump that starts at the very beginning of gotham season five which is actually set at the end of episode nine which is the end of no man's land and then they'll cycle back obviously to the beginning and then it'll go from there on out and then there'll be another time jump in the middle and then naturally there'll be that 10 year time jump in the one hour well rumored one hour well you know what i mean 10 year time jump in that 10th final episode now his reasoning for this and i can kind of completely agree uh they've only got 10 episodes to fit all of this stuff that they kind of wanted to fit into quite a few more seasons i'm guessing uh you know into 10 episodes so yeah three time jumps that sounds very interesting we're going to see the end of no man's land right at the beginning of it backtrack time jump in the middle uh to another certain point and then throughout there on out till we reach the episode the end of episode nine or uh 10 10 years later so pretty cool let me know what you think of that down in the comments below guys now which characters are returning well obviously we've got the typical bunch but in case you didn't know hugo strange will be back i believe for a couple of episodes including mad hatter uh and poison ivy we can't forget Zaz as well now you may be thinking but Boba isn't this obvious well not necessarily even though all these characters were out there um it, it, we didn't know if some would be ignored or like oh they have their own city in the back part of Gotham and they just can't fit them in time on screen but it's cool to know now for all of you Penguin fans you are going to be incredibly happy with this news in the last episode Penguin will have the traditional overweight look you know this is 10 years in the future all of our characters will be exactly kind of as we know them but with a mix of, you know, what we've known in Gotham as well. Uh, in, you know, when Bruce Wayne's 28 years old, so Penguin literally will be overweight, which, and he will be, I don't know, I just can't wait to see Robin Lord Taylor. And he's so happy with it as well, because now he can finally say, of course, he's been Penguin in this prequel, but he will be the current version of the Penguin after the previous Penguins, which is, you know, I'm just so happy for him because he'll actually get to play the iconic looking uh, penguin rather than when we've had this kind of skinny looking penguin which i haven't had a problem with but it's still really exciting but not just that guys he really wanted to see the monocle implemented in this season and he really really wanted to, the monocle to be an injury so he actually even described it as being blind in one eye uh, i'm guessing not necessarily completely blind but if he is completely blind then maybe it literally is like an edge an end of a bottle or something like that so not only will penguin will be overweight he will have that monocle look but not only will the monocle not just be a monocle it'll be the uh, origin of an in the injury because there's been different versions of the monocle and if you're wondering where penguin is in season five he is quite literally like the emperor of gotham now as for riddler he'll be waking up all over the city he will be even like you know screaming in the mirror as we've seen him done before because he's trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with him we will be seeing him and penguin come together and even suspect if penguin has something to do with what is wrong with him and why he can't figure out what the heck is going on and that apparently will lead to quite a confrontation ed is apparently quite involved in the bane storyline he's even said um cory said that he is responsible for bringing uh them together like jim and uh eduardo together at one point and as for riddler's look he will have a new costume and in the 10 year time jump he will have the riddler cane now who knows exactly what it will look like i'm thinking that we all want it to have that question mark on it really excited for that as well but guys that is the gist of the video if i missed something out let me know down in the comments below i probably did if i did i probably feel like i've spoken about it before but these were like the main things i feel like i haven't spoken about yet especially from uh comic new york comic con that we've learned most of these th things from but let me know what you think of everything i discussed about in today's video at the same time let me know if there are any things not only that you're excited about but really are not happy with are you actually really not looking forward to the fact that we might not get the bat suit to the very last scene he could have been joking there 
But, you know, at the same time, it's made me think, and with what I said earlier, it might actually be true and kind of effective in the way to keep David Mazous as that character. They could just kind of age him up in normal clothes and then just put on the bat suit and spend quite a bit of money on that scene at the end. But anyway, guys, that is the video. Uh, if you liked it, I'd really appreci appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're brand new here and you made it this far, why not subscribe for more Gotham Season 5 videos like this? Because it's a while till Gotham comes and you want to stay up to date. This is the place for that. As always, guys, if you want to support the channel even further, links are in the description below this video. Click show more. It, you can find my merch there. There is an EU store and an international US store and all things like that. Social media, Patreon, where you can support the channel more. But thank you so much for watching Gothamites. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.